Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. There are a few things according to your comments that I would like to change right away and the first thing here is getting rid of the hydrogen. The reason I want to do that is because I really like the plug slugs and there is a second variant basically the smog slug egg. I noticed that most of my plug slugs have now a increased smog slug egg chance and I would like to avoid that from happening. This is happening when they dwell in unbreathable gas so that's interesting I had no idea. Thank you for letting me know what we can can do is possibly allow the hydrogen to just move out so instead of dwelling here it will be going up and accumulating here where we are accumulating the rest of it the next thing i would like to do is get a little bit of liquid in the joint here now i just noticed we might actually have to do this with a mechanized airlock otherwise i cannot really temperature control my pool yeah let me go ahead and deconstruct these two metal tiles and we are gonna replace it with a mechanized airlock instead also if we quickly check on the other planetoid i think we're good here currently we have 6.1 tons of polluted dirt which is our oxygen source Ari is currently eating yeah we still have enough kilocalories okay i think we're gonna be fine so maybe just for a brief moment we're gonna stop sending over the polluted dirt until we need some more nice well you look at that we have another ton of gold that is at temperature this is so nice i'm gonna allow amari inside because he's just gonna pick it up and as mentioned he's gonna bring it over to the critter feeder without hesitation there he is i just gotta make sure yeah he's picking it up from the right stack there now it looks like amari cannot actually pick up enough stuff yet oh look at that we have lots of people with hypothermia that's not good uh who was it there amari yeah check this out we should definitely go for improved carrying too so he's actually capable of bringing more stuff okay this isn't perfect yet it did not work the way i wanted we might still have to go with a auto sweeper to take care of that anyways amari now has a stack of over one ton at 141 degrees and i wonder what happens if he moves through here then it should maybe cool down yeah it looks like it was only about two or so degrees that is not good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it drop. Wait, I think I just have to move him elsewhere. And then it's gonna go here. So now at least it can cool down a little bit more inside the pool. Yeah, look, we're already at 130 degrees or so. Okay, that actually makes a huge difference. The liquid really helped here in this case. Either way, I just wanted enough food for my plug slugs here. Before I forget, let's set up the mechanized airlock here and then some automation wire. Just bring this, I guess, let me see. We want to enable the pump and open up the door probably at the same time. So we can just go ahead and do that. No logic gates required. As for the metal refinery, our highest goal will be to process all of our iron, which currently we don't have any of that here on this planetoid did i already set this up to be shipped over i should yeah metal ore the iron ore should be coming over allow manual use is set okay what's the problem probably we don't have too much of it yet yeah there's no such thing as iron ore just yet we will have to dig it all up which is uh, totally fine in my opinion but we better get started on it i would say so yeah basically we just have to make some more progression uh, towards picking stuff up now the abyssalite here is extremely cold sometimes. Thankfully abyssalite doesn't really transfer the heat or the chill. There are some exceptions but it's more like a bug so I'm not even gonna talk about it. But essentially what we can do is treat these like insulated tiles and I can go ahead set up for instance some brine if we have that available. Let me see. Ah uh, no I dumped my brine in here of course. That might not have been the smartest decision I've ever made. Yeah you know what I don't think we have a choice. It's also a really good amount of brine that i can get from here let's try to get in there and i guess all it takes is set up a pitcher pump here yeah let me actually try that there it is 2000 kilograms of brine available thank you very much and we want to enable auto bottle make this a high priority and then we're just gonna fill up this bit with brine now for the thermo sensor we're gonna check the brine temperature well right now we have the hydrogen temperature so let's wait joshua is bringing the bottle okay and wait a second 
Yeah, it's already being pumped up. That's uh, totally fine. And it's directly going into the metal refinery. Now, this door here is actively going to cool my brine. And I don't want this closed all the time. I only want it closed when we need active cooling, which means as soon as we are below the 20 degrees mark, then I want to send a green signal and open the door, right? And at the same time, it's going to be pumped out. And it's going to go directly into the metal refinery so that we can use it as coolant. Uh, looks like a little bit of brine here is obviously gonna get stuck and therefore always will be frozen yeah that might be a little bit of an issue we'll see we'll see for now i just want to fill up the metal refinery we can put 800 kilograms inside of the refinery and i think 400 extra to fill it up right now we have 400 kilograms yeah that would be half of it there it is more thank you very much and then we're missing about two more bottles to wrap this up in terms of germs, we made substantial progress where we actually were lacking the fresh air. We replaced it with floral scent. Also down here inside the base, we don't have dangerous germs. There are some food poisoning germs in the air. However, food poisoning germs are literally only bad for the food. And as long as we have food poisoning germs inside of the base, no other germs can actually go there. Only one type of germ can ever occupy one tile. However, it is still not nice to look at and the easiest way we can get rid of it is just by cleaning the air. Maybe we can even help out a little bit by disinfecting a few more things. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this mechanized airlock and I'm going to put it one more block up. I just want to avoid the rest of the brine here from touching the cold door, which is still being cooled, you know? Okay, now moment of truth. Yeah, this way it is touching, obviously, but I wonder what happens if the door opens. There it is. Okay, door opens and yes, indeed. Look at that. The water shouldn't be touching it anymore. So only when the door closes, the water is really touching it. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to see. We're gonna do iron ore to iron is what we need. Currently, we have 9.4 tons. Oh, I totally missed that. I probably didn't see that. But there we go. We just want to craft iron forever because it is limited currently and there's nothing else to do with the iron ore that we can't do with another ore. Actually, this might be a mistake. I'm certainly going to forget about it at some point. So let's just do 90 crafts. Okay, just going to try to get through all of that. And if we check this out, Nisbet, hold the phone. It's an operating and supplying skill. Well, I guess we don't really have to dig at the moment. So I don't even mind that it is Nisbet coming. But there she is delivering some iron ore. And it looks like the coolant will be used up right away, which is why you can have a little bit of extra. Just 800 kilograms inside the refinery, but a little bit of extra on the line. Oh, Nisbet stopped crafting. Yeah, we have to exchange that uh, hydrogen here. This is kind of crazy. Well, for now, I don't mind. Major eye irritation is something I've been living with for a couple of cycles, especially because of that. But we'll be taking care of this issue in today's episode as well. I just wanted to get the metal refinery going and... Wait a second. Did I already finish crafting something? Yeah, look at that. We got the first piece of iron. I can't believe it. 200 kilograms of iron. I just absolutely love it. So that means iron is the only ingredient we're really missing. We still cannot go overboard with the steel production, but we might be able to at least save our asses from the meteor showers. So when it comes to steel, for now, I'm just going to craft this whenever we can. Right now, we're missing the refined carbon. We also have only a limited amount of lime but both these problems i think we can fix we got fossil to lime and eggshell to lime i just gotta make sure that we bring over some fossil from the second planetoid i should have that set up here let me check just to make sure we also have lime and in raw materials the fossils is also being transported over actually do we even have fossils i'm not so convinced that we do actually yeah, you know, steel is just going to be a pain in the butt. But refined carbon we can make in the kiln. And all we need is coal. We have 32 tons of coal. Let's go for 90 crafts right now and just get this started. I'm happy enough that the metal refinery is working. And we can also see that as soon as we go below the 20 degrees mark, then the door is going to open and the liquid is going to be pumped back into the refinery. How hot is it even coming out? It's coming out at... 50 degrees so down from the 7 degrees that we inputted or so and then we can see the metal tile here is being cooled the door is well maybe not the most efficient material maybe we're gonna replace it with steel as soon as we have enough but we can see something is going on here with the cooling 
and it is just going extremely slow. Yeah, maybe we'll have to work our way up. Uh, okay, I see the problem. I have to move this once again. I think the way I'm going to do this is I have a metal tile here at the bottom. Actually, I don't even have to remove it. I could do it here, metal tile. And actually, let's make this out of a better material. I'm going to replace those two with iron metal tiles. And then maybe I can use the door more efficiently because it's not the door itself that has to cool down the material, but the metal tile, which is more efficient. Unless the door is made out of steel, then it doesn't matter. But we can easily check whether or not it matters. We have a thermal conductivity, which is the speed at which you can transfer the heat or the chill. And that has a conductivity of four if we check out the metal tile with iron it has a conductivity of 55 which is more than 10 times as much also even the difference between iron here with 55 and if i build this out of cobalt then check this out this has a thermal conductivity of 100 okay that actually means the cobalt is much better yeah it's doubly as good okay 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 so forget about the iron here i want cobalt instead let's have a brief look at what that actually changes here 20 degrees and now the only weak link in the chain here is the mechanized airlock that should be built out of steel or some other conductive material okay so for testing purposes i'm gonna push this up to 30 degrees so we can already start pumping here a little bit and this can start to cool down again let me see how much cooling potential do we have we have quite a bit but we will have to bring this all the way up in order to take full advantage now let's actually tackle the hydrogen we have up here we can utilize that for power and also i would like to exchange this pocket here with something breathable so my dupes don't have to interrupt their work. You know, one easy thing we could go for right now is Atmo suits. Usually I do it much sooner, but the planetoid had a temperature structure that allowed me to push this back a little bit. However, now that we are working more and more upstairs as well as downstairs, it is time to avoid the dupes from being interrupted all the time. Towards the bottom, maybe even oxygen masks are going to be enough because we don't really have temperature issues here. But towards the top, we're going to make Atmo suits. And since I'm making Atmo suits anyways, I'm going to make a dedicated exit from this base that is going to force the dupes to actually wear an Atmo suit. For me personally, this means once the duplicants enter the ladder shaft here, they should be wearing an Atmo suit. If we go ahead and lock this door, also lock this door, then the only two ways they can access the ladder shaft are from this level and this level here. We can close this level, I think, so the dupes will only be able to exit to the ladder shaft this way. I also will have to prevent them from going this way. And also this door here should be locked. So all we have to do now is set up an Atmo suit checkpoint. I'm going to do that with cobalt. Uh, let's actually also smelt up a little bit of cobalt thinking about it. I'm going to do about 50 craft here since with the smeltery we're now not wasting any ore. We will also not get the sand. Maybe that is another something we could do again. Let's do another 90 crafts of igneous rock to sand. By the way we need an Atmo suit checkpoint and we want to be facing to the left next we need an atmos suit dock and we're gonna set up let me see how many duplicants do i need outside at any given time at least three maybe even five i think five or even seven would be the better number yeah maybe let's just go ahead and do how many ever we can fit and then on the other side i'm gonna set up a quick exosuit forge and of course nisbet is already going for it she can be wonderful at times one more thing we have to do apart from giving this power is actually fill it up with oxygen also let's disable this building for the time being otherwise my dupes cannot go out anymore without actually equipping an atmos suit but yeah, eventually we'll have to set up some gas pipes here and bring oxygen to these stations. In order to accomplish this, I'm actually going to move my storage bins here all the way down. So by just deconstructing this tile, all the stuff that I've collected here over the last 100 cycles is going to drop down. But very importantly, it is not dropping down all the way. There it goes. Yes, safe and secure. Wonderful. Let's see what we can print. I need to be a little bit more picky about my dupes right now. We are in a critical transition phase and I already have a dupe that I want to send out into space. I also slowed down giving out the skills, not because of a strategy, just because I'm an idiot. Lyra improved carrying and then we're going to go down the rocket piloting path. Yes, May is going to get into rocket piloting too already. So we got that out of the way. Meep, of course, exosuit training. I might want to change his cap because it's the same as the mechatronics engineering cap. And probably nobody else is going to have the exosuit training cap. 
knee pad eventually I want to make quicker. So rocket piloting and then suit sustainability. The same counts for Ren, right? Yeah. And then Ari, of course, needs improved carrying. For the mechatronics engineering skill, we need the improved carrying either way. Joshua, I guess at the moment we can just make a little bit faster here. Yeah. Or maybe much faster. Let's do that. And then finally, Jean, I think I want to finish the research tech tree. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. What kind of cap do we get for that? Mm, it's too similar to the field research one. So I'm going to leave the yellow on. And then finally, improved carrying as well. Let's open up the door of Doom right here in order to get access to the printing pot and all the upgraded hats. I think the way I want to do this is by setting up another system just dedicated to one sublimation station and we need to be able to reach the sublimation station or we need an auto sweeper to fill it up. We could make it so that we can reach the storages here and then an auto sweeper will be taking care of everything else. Let's say the sublimation station is gonna go here. We then get an auto sweeper in there. We need a whole bunch of deodorizers, maybe something along these lines. Get some airflow tasks. I'm gonna go with mesh tiles like so hold the phone the auto sweeper is going to be blocked this way oh geez my duplicants are really eager to build this okay they probably don't have enough to do let's maybe dig out some more terrain like right along here we can dig everything out that should be fine do this one here as well this is even going to give us more food for the second planetoid Oh, I just figured something else. Thermal conductivity of aluminium is much better than cobalt or whatever I have going on right now. So aluminium is what we should go for from all the materials we currently have access to. And this way we'll have a five times higher thermal conductivity. Yeah, it's even worse than I feared. We can only reach the first two deodorizers. If I put it back one more block, we could at least reach three of them. And honestly, that might be enough to make this functional and produce the necessary oxygen for our Atmo suits. I just made a huge mistake. Well, it wasn't really a mistake, but I just used the whole 480 watts with these Rappel generators by actually having this enabled. I did. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Let me see. I did. <laughs> oh, man. Editing Nathan, you know what to do. For now, I also want to get rid of this entire row here. Let's finish the Atmo suit system. Yeah, look at that. Already at temperature. That's what I'm talking about. Now we are crafting. Except, well, we still need the Atmo suits to be able to craft in one go. But May here is working on it. One more thing I would like to fix is I want a critter drop off point here. And this is going to allow me to pick some of these guys up that kind of got lost somewhere. Furthermore, I'm going to set up a automatic dispenser here that I'm going to set to sweep only just like I have my storages in the beginning and all the items that I sweep up as of this point are gonna land on this single tile so I will have to remember that oh whoops this building unfortunately cannot be flooded that is not good I think I want to sacrifice a pitcher pump in order to accommodate this problem I copied the settings from the critter drop off point here but here I want to store how many ever I want without auto wrangling the surplus and I'm also gonna have it at priority one so wherever else I want to bring the plug slots they're gonna have priority but then if I wrangle up a whole bunch here they're gonna be brought over and before I forget I should include the smog slugs most of them are just going to be processed to meat, but who knows, some of them I could use to replenish the numbers. Okay, now we can see we are at the point where we heated up this tile, so it became useless. Therefore, all we have to do is replace it with another cobalt tile, and we will be taking advantage of these three tiles then, which gives us even more cooling capabilities, and this way we just work our way through the terrain. There's my automatic dispenser, all sweep only and priority one. So whenever I have another storage with an item, the other one would be preferred. Now I have a little bit more space to actually set up a bottle emptier for the polluted water as well. The times of no germs has ended. Wait a second. I already had an exosuit forge. I totally forgot about that because I never talked about it. I just set it up here so that I don't forget. But this is good news because in that case we can just go ahead and build some Atmos suits. Not out of iron. I need the iron. Hmm. Should we smelt up some aluminium? Would be nice to do those aluminium suits. Why not? I want to make six for the time being because that's the amount of atmosphere suit docks that i can fit here looks like we need 300 kilograms of refined material that would be three crafts times six so 18 crafts exactly to get those atmos suits oh uh, uh, yeah yeah more cobalt is coming please use that for this tile i need to cool things more efficiently nisbet supplying construction materials you should be doing this one ah look at that that's what i'm talking about just get your priorities straight and just like 
like that, we now have aggressively more cooling power. And we can keep going here with the crafting. Looks like we still have plenty to do. My sublimation station here has been built. We should be able to kind of close this off. Now, let me see. If I do that, then hmm, I might still be able to reach everything. And then a little further up here, I would like to see a pump. Maybe here. Yeah, I think that's good. And also a atmo sensor in order to check how much pressure we have. One last thing I want to set up here is a conveyor loader that will allow the auto sweeper to pick up the resulting clay from the deodorizers. So one storage here will have filled up with polluted dirt. The other storage here, of course, uh, what do I need? Sand. So filtration medium, sand or regolith, both is fine. Then from the conveyor loader, we can ship the materials out. I'm going to remove that fire pole and then it can drop into our storage. So just a little conveyor chute missing here and maybe power. Yeah. Okay. Now we should also be able to set up the pump, get that situated here and then we can drag this over now i would like to just make sure that we actually get the correct gases so we don't break our atmo docks so maybe to end it all a little filter here it first goes into the filter the oxygen will be coming out the polluted oxygen that we might still have going on we are just going to bring back here with a gas vent and then the good oxygen can go down and over into my pipes so remove that no actually there's more atmo docks here and then all we have to do is close this off. Yeah, sure. That is a nice, easy and little temporary system that we can use to power our Atmo docks and get this base really rolling. I forgot to also set the repair Atmo suit recipe to forever. Whenever we get a worn Atmo suit, we can just fix it with some reed fiber. Also, we need some automation wire that goes into the pump here. I only want to pump when we actually have a significant amount of gases in there. Now, mind you, the gases are still going to escape on the top and at the bottom and contribute to filling up the base. However, this sublimation station here is very often at a max gas pressure and therefore we can probably utilize most of it for this pump. But if it contributes to the overall base, I do not even mind. I just checked and I actually don't have that much aluminium. So I still think I'm going to build it out of the main material that I have here. Six Atmo suits. And to speed it up, I also added some to the rock crusher here. I mean, right now we have over 70 tons of cobalt ore. We can certainly use some. And as a side product, we'll also get some more sand. Hey, you know what? Why not take advantage of these guys as well? Hmm, I might have to switch the system or we just utilize this part. Yeah, that might actually be a good idea. Let me try that though one block lower right here. So we actually catch the power of the extra slots that we have going on. Add some heavy watt turn plates here and that problem would be solved. We could even go a step further and hook all of these machines up. Same thing right here. And therefore we could get rid of the majority of the cabling here. One more thing I'm missing here is a deodorizer. I think this fire pole is going to get exchanged with one. In terms of skill points, I'm not going to go much over the 15 or 18 morale demand. Except I really need the skills. But for instance, Amari has all the necessary skills I want him to have. And therefore, I'm not really worried to go overboard. So until I'm going to implement other ways to make them happy, I'm going to leave the unnecessary skills be. Oh, I didn't even realize we made our first piece of steel. Absolutely wonderful. Also, what you can do is lower the priorities on everything that is being served by an auto sweeper. But in my case, I also installed the allow manual use mod so I can just disallow the dupes to actually use the deodorizers there. Ooh, okay. We... Oh no, what did I do? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Meep, meep. Meep, meep, stop, stop that. Jeez, I totally forgot about these hot pockets. Yeah, my bad. Let's build an insulating layer. Something along these lines should do. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, that's what you get from being careless. Let's set up a triad cot. We can do one here. Mm, let's do two here. Get rid of that deodorizer. Now we have scolding duplicants. Amari here is already hurt a little bit. I don't really want to lose anyone right now. There's our triad cot. And as soon as they go below the 70% health status, they should come to the bed. Oh yeah, that's already much better. Come on, just... just get through it oh no 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 lira look at that lira is now taking too much damage so you come to bed and meep you come to bed too yeah <laughs> lira i'm so sorry it's really my bad but there we go the problem is contained once again let's now finish the atmo suits we already have one suit here that we can deliver to this station then all we have to do is set this to above let's say yeah a thousand grams is actually fine no not 30 a thousand that will then activate the pump and then all we have to do is set this to oxygen 
that should be filtered out and of course i totally forgot to power this up my oxygen coming in feeding the atmo suits maybe eventually i'm gonna set up a secondary pump move this atmo sensor a little bit looks like we also got some hydrogen here that's not good and carbon dioxide this would just then go back in here hmm yeah maybe i expel the wrong gases instead of bringing them back in i mean this would be easily doable just like that but yeah you get the basic gist we now have access to atmo suits i'm gonna start filling that up a little bit more get those last three dots in place and then the next time my dupes will have a much easier time outside of the base but yeah with that out of the way i'm gonna wrap it up at this point thank you so much for watching have a great time and hopefully i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye bye